Golf Runner is back, and this time around, instead of being a subdivision of Queensland-based Tesco, it's been launched as its own standalone model range. Everything ranging from tiny little tinnies right up to full-size cutty cabins. This is the 590FC, one of the range-topping models in the new lineup, and you can add it to your driveway for about $85,000, which is pretty cheap by all measures. But just because it's cheap, does that mean the on-water experience is also cheap? Let's find out. While not quite a complete on-water package, the 590 does come sitting on its own trailer and with a 150 horsepower Yamaha outboard engine. If you're keen to take up fishing, it's a good sized boat for bombing around on an estuary one day and nudging offshore in calmer conditions the next. One of the family friendly features about this boat that we really like is this. This is the Cuddy Cabin and by trailer boat standards, it's huge. These benches stretch 2.4 meters long, meaning adults can fully stretch out in comfort perfect for a nap when the fish are off the bite. Below the bunks is a huge amount of storage space. Out in the cockpit, it is standard trailer boat fare, but without scrimping on too many of the features. That includes a rear bench seat that folds away when not needed to create more fishing space. The helm is actually quite good. We've got these two really good comfortable seats that you can sit on and underneath them are pedestals with really good storage. In front of the skipper seat, there's a huge expanse of white flat panel where you can actually mount things if you need to. While it's not large enough to flush mount electronics such as a chart plotter and fish finder, there is room above to fit one. So how does it drive? The original Golf Runner was made for running offshore in Queensland, so this should have some of that DNA. Does it? Let's find out. The 590 rises easily onto the plane, providing a soft, stable ride that's also quiet, largely due to the boat's foam-filled hull. One thing this boat lacks, though, is an exposed keel. This means the 590 tends to drift through a turn rather than carve it as the hull's reverse chines work hard to hang on. This does appear to be a lot of boat for the money, and interestingly, because it's sold through Anaconda stores, the price you see on it is the price you pay. There's no haggling or bargaining involved. That takes a lot of pressure off buying a boat, and more so if it's your first time buying one. However, what's not included with this boat is all the safety gear you will need out on the water. But don't worry, because Anaconda has you covered. When you go into the store to pick up your boat, you can just go into the retail area and buy your life jackets, buy your flares, buy your EPIRB. All the gear you need is just there, so just add it to the boat. Boat ownership does not get any easier than that.